happy wednesday y'all all right first thing first go ahead give this a thumbs up subscribe share do what you gotta do to help support your girl a lot of changes hopefully will be coming sooner than i think anyway all right let's get to it y'all gonna learn y'all are really gonna learn today for real for real y'all really need to stop idolizing these pastors they cannot save your life they are human just like you are human they bleed blood just the way that you bleed blood it's red yours is red if yours is purple i don't know what to tell you but they can't save your life y'all really need to get that through your heads y'all put these pedals y'all put these pastors and these speakers and these celebrities on the same pedestal y'all put god and that is never gonna work because god and people are never equal i need y'all to understand that god and people are not equal and living in the time of social media y'all are really i'm talking to people that every single chance they have an opportunity to be like oh i need prayer i need this i need that and they're seeking out all these pastors and that's not a problem that's not a problem to ask for prayer but if that is your only source of getting the word getting some prayer getting some guidance in your life that's a problem you have now knocked down god to here and put that pastor or that wise counsel or that motivational speaker or whomever on top of god that is never gonna work out and i promise you you idolizing everything other than god y'all will learn today y'all i just don't understand when i truly say that you guys have the holy spirit living inside of you you guys have the word that's full of answers full of answers for you now if you already seek god you seek the word you talk to the holy spirit then you can go to a wise counsel but if y'all are really going through something and y'all expect the pastor to save you and pull you through and get you to jesus like you feel like that's your only means to jesus and you feel like just can't just because you can't connect to that pastor who has a large following that you can't have access to jesus okie doke you're gonna have a rude awakening the reason i wanted to talk about this is because i'm really so the church that i go to down here in georgia is called the gathering oasis both my pastors, they're a bit popular. Um, I never cared to really, I'd never seen like the popularity in them and stuff, but we get a lot of new guests at um, the church quite often. And sometimes what brings them there is our pastors. That used to bother me a lot. Cause I'm just like, so y'all not here for the word, y'all here for the person. So why are y'all at church? Now, sometimes, I'm sorry, I tend to, I have a stress ball in my hand sometimes and it just, that was not supposed to happen. But at times, it's good that they're in the church. Maybe the word could get planted in them. But if you flew thousands of miles, and I'm talking about thousands of miles, maybe even out the country just to see the person. And the person is not even preaching, speaking. You just wanted to see their physical being as if they're so unreal. And you're like, oh my gosh, that's such and such. I can't believe I'm in the same room. You got a problem. And I'm not even trying to be funny because now like i said you're idolizing that person and that person can't get you to heaven there's only one person that can get you to heaven and that's jesus that's it that is it you can you have youtube channels you have 
different pastors saying different type of things you don't want your your um your mind just filled with a whole bunch of opinions and yet you have yet to seek the holy spirit you have yet to look in the bible to see what the whatever question you're asking for might be in there i'm, I'm more than sure it's gonna be in there so yeah stop stop because when they fall short y'all all gonna have y'all little knives and I'm talking about anybody that you're putting as an idol to look for answers that you're seeking that probably only Jesus can answer. So now when these human beings, the same human beings that's the same, that goes through the same tests and trials as everyone else, because they're human, when they fall short, now y'all gonna blame the church. Now y'all gonna blame, oh, well, Jesus not there for them. How he gonna be there for me? Y'all are two different people. Y'all are two different people. And y'all need to stop idolizing. The pastors are here to bring people closer to Jesus. To feed us with the word. Just replenish us. But they're there. And you know have access to us when we are grieving. When we are going through stuff. But they're not our everything. Jesus is our everything. So when they're not available to us. You have someone that's always going to be available to you do y'all see do y'all see where i'm getting back these past six minutes stop especially with these celebrities and it's just like now everyone wants a huge following don't get it twisted i want my channel to grow like i want y'all to share this and let it grow but at the end of the day like i need y'all to understand like everybody on this earth we're all different but we're the same i'm a human you're a human they're a human i can't save you they can't save you just confess jesus christ is your lord and savior boom you're saved now you can go to them for different resources join a community small group serve you know have fellowship with people but don't look for that person to be your all in all without you having your own relationship with jesus that's just saying it ain't gonna make no sense and i'm sorry you're gonna be heartbroken disappointed time and time again that's all i got to say me and my little stress ball today we having it we having it out because i'm tired of people really looking up like it's it's hard enough it really is hard enough on them just being a pastor and they they're literally responsible for lives hoping that whatever they're saying is biblically based and that the holy spirit is leading them in what they have to say to the flock which is us they already got so much pressure now you're looking at them to to save you too bro sis come on you have 24 7 access to jesus use it he loves you the most more than they would ever love you I love you. Jesus love you the most. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. I love you. Tomorrow. It's only a day away. Fing. Alright, bye y'all.